So for today, I thought we'd be playing a game based around a very real topic, which is child abduction and how it happens every single day. Millions of children get robbed from their homes and are never to be found again. This game has been on my list for a while and I figure we'd give it a go. Uh, I know like the first 20 minutes of the game, but after that, it's completely blank for me. It's completely a mystery for me. So, sit back, relax, and we'll get on with the show. Oh wow, the game starts immediately off. Huh. We're gonna be playing keyboard and mouse. Although I do have a controller. I can't read this. Uh, to my knowledge, I think this game is based in Mongolia. So if you'd like to read it in Mongolian. Wait. Oh, there it is. Went missing on the 23rd of August from the Kor Orlol area. Please contact us if you have any information. 56479461. He was wearing a green sweatshirt and the blue jeans. From what I understand, this was made by a very small developer. You know, there was a time when I was still in high school, very first years, that um, there was this one guy. Right, hang on. Um, when I was still very small, there was a guy who always talked to me after every single day of school. Oh boy. And... I don't know. I was very dumb for believing that he was friendly to me. When the guy, in fact, could have been a pedophile. And... Coming soon. Wow. Innocence. And that's, uh... That's my experience with um, homes being targeted. A child. My experience is that a child shouldn't be strong. They should feel safe. Why's that guy speed walking? I don't know how safe I feel. I don't like this.
Gotta be careful. And there's a switch up there. I've been playing as cowboys, uh, eight foot soldiers in video games, aliens, iconic horror figures, but it's very rare that I play a game where you play as an innocent child. Which, personally, I think is really cool. Very good experience here. Let's see what's up here first. I like how he's not even looking in here, just in case. something over here they took my friend and me in front of our school they said they will buy us a video game they took my friend away they said they will give him a bath I heard him crying he is not crying anymore I hope he comes back soon He said he'll give me lots of candy. At first he was very nice to me, but started to call me Piggy after we came here. I'm still waiting for him to bring me candy. I'm very hungry. You know, to their credit, it's very hard to mimic a child's handwriting. He said he was Dad's friend, and he said he will take me to my house. He will take me to my house. This scary place is not my home. Daddy, Mommy, where are you? These people are hurting me. Anything over there I can do? Let's take a look. Something over here. <laughs> Break it. Nice. Okay. Go! Oh wait, I can go up. Let's keep going over here, just for fun. Looks fine so far. Once you get used to it, it tastes like beef. I'm thinking there's a secret up there, but... You know what? We'll go up. We'll investigate. We might die. Let's take a look. 
The roof might collapse. Secret! Oh. Picture of a family. Yeah, if you ever catch a glimpse of any potential grooming, be sure to report it to anybody. Please. It's in everybody's interest if you keep children safe. Oh, hey guy. What's up? He wants to play a game. Game description. Start with 10 shagai ankle bones on both sides. Players hide 1 to 5 shagais inside their fists. Players take turns guessing the sum of shagais in both fists. You will win if you take all your opponent's shagais. I'm guessing you have three. Hey, win again! I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm winning! The max you'd have is three. I could bet all I have. I win! Hey, that was first try. You know what, let's not. Just in case. Okay, I guess we can stand up now. Oh, hey. Here I thought I could hide in the shadows like Manhunt. Well, now we know for later. Mine is our property. Peace and property. Ooh, I was about to start running. But not be good. Mine closed down. Oh, we might actually be in the mines. Who knows? I don't. Greetings to you both on the day this letter arrives. Hello, my love. How is our son? I miss you so much. This time, I'm afraid I have bad news. Yesterday, I heard they are closing down the mine. I'm worried that I won't be able to send any money. Are you struggling to make ends meet? Last time, I couldn't send enough money. I can't bear the thought of you two starving. I wish my son was old enough to take care of his mom. I'm sorry, my love. My son. Daddy is sending his last coins for this letter. Be brave, my love. Everything will be fine. I love you both. From your beloved husband, Erdin.
That'll be a good thumbnail. Might even be this part. Who killed the owner of the mine? Was it a man or something sinister? Something sinister is stalking us here. The death of citizen SH, owner of Shergline, is the proof. He was decapitated when the body was discovered. Because of this incident, the mine owner's wife went insane and her son went missing. Locals are saying this is because Bia, cause of the greed and wealth caused to curse the family. Wait, oh boy. I gotta head back. I guess I gotta steal the key from the guy. But how do I do it? I guess I can draw draw his attention. Oh wait, he fell asleep. I think that's it. Might be it right here. No. Curse these tiny hands. Wait, that might. Oh no. God damn it. That one? Nope. Now is that it? Really now? What? <laughs> Love it. All right, back here again. Oof. Uh. What is this? Got it. Super. Here, wait. Oh, wait. wait. I want to take it to later, just to piss him off. All right, bud, coming to you. Did he wake up? No. Huh. Okay. Here. Actually, I kind of want to see myself in the mirror now. Oh wait, I can... huh. Okay, so I guess I can bring us both in now.